Hey everyone, I am using Google Navigate right now to get home and I'm in the car and figured I would test out the video camera at night. So, I'm driving into Baltimore right now and pardon the bumps, uh, I thought maybe we'd be able to get a decent view of the city if it isn't too dark. It's, it's just turning light here. Um, Here's my exit. Inland half mile. Take exit 53 for I 395 ML King Boulevard toward downtown. <laughs> That's navigate voice. I don't know if you could hear that because my Google navigation is still on. Exit 53 for I395 MLK Boulevard toward downtown. MT Bank Stadium. I'm not sure if you can see that or not either. I don't know if you can see any of this. But we'll find out. It looks really dark in the viewfinder. Uh, what I'm seeing Continue for one half mile. is a lot of city buildings, but I can't see them in the viewfinder. I'm really wondering how this is going to turn out and we can see right when you get up to the street signs you can see them pretty GPS bright GPS signal lost in one half mile merge onto I-395 North North Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard this is recording at like 20 continue for three quarters of a mile tell that lady to shut up it's uh, it's recording at 24 frames per second, so it'll be interesting to, interesting to see how well or how choppy this is since we're uh, <laughs> since we're going pretty fast. In one half mile, turn right at West Conway Street. I'm not gonna turn right, and there's Camden Yards right there. Turn right at West Conway Street. That's the warehouse at Camden Yard, so it's in right field. Yankees lost last night. It kind of sucks. I don't know if anyone's Yankees fans. Either a Yankee fan or you're a Yankee hater. In one quarter mile, turn left at Light Street. And now we can see because we're right in the middle of the city and there's all these bright lights. So now there's no problem seeing anything. It's the convention center right here. Oh, look at that! Verizon! They have, I guess, headquarters or offices right there. Go Turn right. right at West Pratt Street. I'm already on West Pratt Street, but... video has been recording now for like three almost four minutes so with a 16 gigabyte SD card it uh, it's pretty cool because you can save a you can save a ton of video pictures multimedia stuff without having to worry that your uh, your memory is going to be saved up and of course you can always upgrade to a 32 gigabyte card but they give you a 16 gig one for free, then uh, I would stick with that until you need any more room. In one quarter mile, turn right at South President and Street. We just passed the Inner Harbor, I should have showed you that, but I'm trying to drive. So apologies, we just drove past the Inner Harbor and now we're going to be driving through Fells Point and then near Canton. I can get over. Turn right at South President Street. In 
2,600 feet. Turn left at Eastern Avenue. Oh, they're so dumb. The street that Turn I live left on. at Eastern Avenue. Nope, sorry, buddy. The street I live on is a one-way street, and if you go on Eastern, you're not going to be able to turn right onto my street. You got to go one street down, and then take a left onto it. That recently changed. That changed in the last. I want to say six months, so. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Google, you gotta update your one way streets. Hey, FedEx. By the way, you guys, if you look at the FedEx logo, um, once you see this, you'll never be able to stop seeing it. But in between the E and the X, there's an arrow pointing white, the dead space, the white space in between the E and the X form a white arrow pointing to the right. They specifically made their font match up like that so it formed the arrow. And I'm a little surprised they don't accentuate it or use it in commercials, like have it glow or something. But um, I don't know when I learned that, probably like six or seven years ago. But once I did, every time I see the FedEx logo, all I think about is that that arrow. Can't get it out of my head. Bakery. Oh, I made it. You saw that. It was yellow. No tickets. Woo! Alright. Pop quiz. What's in between the E and the X? <laughs> Give me a break, I haven't slept yet. Uh, it's six in the morning, I've been up since six in the morning yesterday. I'm trying to entertain myself, stay awake. <clears throat> I think that about does it actually. I'm gonna end this video, it's almost eight minutes long. There's no way that anybody's still watching. In one quarter it. mile, turn left at South Collington Avenue. If I posted the whole thing. Alright folks, I'm out.